it is flat. The sun's just come up, it's Sunday morning, <coughs> as I touched on yesterday, I was down here for a little skim hunt, it's tiny, we originally um, talked about surf this weekend, because there was meant to be a swell around, so I'm glad we didn't pin our hopes on that, because it's flat man, so uh, I'm going to head home, and I think me and Danny are going to go get wet this afternoon. Yeah! Hello. <laughs> right, Sunday afternoon now, guys. Home again. Um, I mentioned the other week in one of the vlogs about getting a Kiwi made mech. Here it is. Duncan sent it to me. Essentially, what it is, it's the same reverse mech sort of system uh, as the Neptonics one, except it's made here in New Zealand. Obviously, the line release. on the other side um, so this is going to go into I intend to build like a 130 double triple rubber thing that people are going to actually be able to borrow and possibly take up to the tropics so that's what it's going to go in obviously with some kiwi wood kiwi mech um, and we'll, we'll hopefully be able to get more along the lines of a damn near close to 100% made kiwi gun if that's attainable I'm not quite sure if it is at the stage so that's it um, Danny and myself, it's just started raining again, but the water's looking nice out there. We're going to go get wet, and the focus this afternoon is getting Danny a snapper. So it is now Wednesday night, just getting settled. Um, <laughs> done the 18k run back from work today and record record setting time. But that's not we're gonna not not that's not what we're going to talk about. I'm clearly tired. Um, what I want to talk about is uh, so we're basically just gonna get some words from Danny who was out with in the weekend and we'll wrap the video up with that. Okay. Words. Words. Okay, so how long have you been spearfishing for now? Um, approximately six months. Yep, this year. This year, yeah. What has been the best thing about it? Uh, I think the... Just like the mental things. You totally switch off and you only pay attention to what's in front of you in the water. So um, just it's kind of like meditation almost. And just really seeing that whole other 
world that goes on underneath that you don't always look at um, from above. So that's really cool. And what has been or and continues to be probably the biggest thing to overcome or the hardest thing about it? Uh, shooting fish. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Shooting big fish. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's just a continuous learning journey. Um, I think the hardest thing is that there's so many things to think about. So as much as you're not thinking in the water, you're also thinking a lot about your safety and stuff. So you're paying attention to your float line and the other people around you and um, currents and all that kind of stuff and kind of calculating your moves. So that's a continuous learning journey. So any six months and any advice for people wanting to take it up, in particular females? Um, yeah, do it. It's so cool. It's so much fun. Even just swimming around is really cool. Um, I think for me, I looked up a bunch of videos before I started because I'm a visual learner and I want to see what's going on. Um, but the only way you can really learn is just by doing it. Um, ladies, uh, boobs get in the way, so just lube up your suit real good. I think I'm getting better at that now. <laughs> uh, it was really hard to put on in the beginning, but I think I've finally <laughs> learned how to do that. Um, yeah, get out there, do it. Get out there, do it. I'm Sam Price. I'll see you at the beach. <laughs>